Okay, so we can run our own test plans rather than run test plans generated through running the, the vehicle test, um, where it gives you guided test plans based on the, the faults found in the memory. So you can actually create your own. So if we go into vehicle management, troubleshooting, and uh, let's select something at random, so voltage supply, bus systems, uh, click on bus systems, click on calculate test plan, and let's select uh, rear axle final drive interference noise. So we'll double click on that. And it basically gives you a, a test procedure to follow. So um, it gives you all of the instructions, what to do, what to look for. And basically you just go through it, answer the questions, yes or no. Um, and it goes through a whole uh, procedure for you. So. Um, are all preconditions listed above present? We'll say yes. Click next. So again, now you've got on the right-hand side all of the information uh, related to, to what the procedures that, that you're going to do on the left. So for instance, if we click on procedure one, metallic clicking noise at drive off, um, click on next, and it says drive vehicle for a small distance forward, stop the vehicle, drive vehicle for a small distance backwards, stop the vehicle, can a metallic clattering sound be heard? So if we say yes, click next. So it's basically telling you uh, what the problem is and what to do to uh, recover from that problem. So if you just click on back, uh, let's click on um, automatic driving lights control. So again, it tells you what the, the various um, possibilities are in terms of problems and cause and action to take. Also, if you select this for things like um, temperature sensors, um, it will run a little um, test as well to the sensor on the car. Um, so it, uh, it, has, it will run diagnostics as part of the test plan as well.